Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to register a store listener. Another method you have access to in the Redux store object is store.subscribe. So again, Redux store. And so when we have when we create a variable like store, we can just go store.subscribe. That would be what they're saying when you have access to a function. I'm going to stretch this out. This allows you to subscribe listener functions to the store, which are called whenever an action is dispatched against the store. One simple use for this method is to subscribe a function to your store that simply logs a message every time an action is received and store is updated. So we want to write a callback function that increments the global variable count every time the store receives an action and pass this function into the store.subscribe method. You'll see the store.dispatch is called three times in a row. Store.dispatch, store.dispatch, store.dispatch. Uh, and, and receives an action and pass this function into the store.subscribe method. Store.subscribe. Okay, I don't see store.subscribe anywhere. So it's called three times. Watch the console output be between the action dispatch to see the updates take place. Okay, so here we've got, because we're doing a console log count, we're counting it each time. We want to do store.dispatch and we're passing in the object of add of type add, add set to up here. Um, our type is here, so they're doing state plus one, which means we're adding to the state with each time we do the add function. So it looks like we're gonna have a uh, one, two, three type scenario when we complete this. Um, so we wanna change the code below this line. We wanna, yeah. Write a callback function that increments the global variable count every time the store receives an action. Okay, so write a callback function that increments the global variable count of action and pass this function in to the store.subscribe. Okay, so we want to write a function in store.subscribe. So we're going to go uh, store.subscribe and then within here we'll write a function. And uh, I'm just going to do this, as always, I'm always going to write these in like old JavaScript and then I'm going to um, refactor it towards the end into ES6 so that you guys can see the way that that works. Um, write a callback function that increments the variable count every time the store receives an action. Um, so yeah, let's console.log, uh, useful programmer. Okay, so now we're, we're, we've got to subscribe. So every time that the store is called, here we've got the store.dispatch, it's being called. And then store.subscribe is saying whenever the store is called, we want to do this as well. So we're writing in useful programmer here to each time. One, two, three, and it's being called. The dispatch is being called here. And then we're, oh, we're console logging the count. Okay, and so that's what they mean when they say... Uh, yeah. Oh, there, okay. So there's this global variable count. And so here we want to just say uh, count plus equals one. And then, okay. Yeah. So when we console log the count, it's growing. And the store.dispatch is saying this is, we're running it here. We're running it here. We're running it here. Yeah. Uh, running, uh, incrementing count. You see, we're incrementing count, incrementing count, incrementing count. We could even put count in here if we wanted to get crazy like that. Um, incrementing count from zero to one. Da, da, da. Cool. And so, yeah, this is all pretty much unnecessary, though. I'm pretty sure that passes the tests. The uh, you don't need to do anything here. You don't need to have this incrementing count. You don't need to do it with this fancy string interpolation. Um, I don't even know if you need the console log in there. Yeah, you don't even need to console log in here. All they're saying is you need to just increment your count. And so what's happening is we're just setting it up so that we'll go through this again. We're setting a constant of add. We've got a reducer created in which we take in an act, uh, the state and then we take in the action. If the action dot type is equal to add, which means the string of add, then we return state plus one. And if the action dot type is anything else, we just return the uh, existing state, which uh, defaults to zero. But uh, if it's anything, if it's, if the, yeah. And so um, we've got, then we create a Redux store, 
which we save in the constant variable. And then we create a variable, a global variable called count. And then store.subscribe means that every time the store is called, we do this. And then, so if our count is plus one, we, we, uh, we increment this global variable here, which is not part of the Redux store. Uh, so when we do store.subscribe, that means every time the store is called, we do this method. That's what the subscribe method does. So when we say store.dispatch and we pass in a type of add, it comes up here. It says add. So then the state is added. We go zero or whatever the state is plus one. The state is saved as one here. And then we console log one. And store.dispatch, the state is currently at one. We dispatch another add. So because the state is one, it's not going to save as the default value. The state is one. We do our action is add. We return state plus one. And so our new state is two. And so we come down here and we console log. Then we come up to two, which is this guy right here. And then we do it again. Same exact thing. Dispatch type add. Our state is currently at two and our action is an add. So we go add is equal to and we make the state is equal to uh, two plus one, which is three. And then finally we console log three and our program is complete. Um, so cool. This is actually a helpful one because now we're starting to really see the way that this works. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next lesson.